What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us today on this episode of Mondays with Marcus, where we're going to make your Mondays the best ever and a great way to start the rest of your week. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks, some things that I personally use in my everyday life that I think will benefit you greatly. And hopefully you can take some of this information and implement it into your life. And I feel that you're going to find a lot more joy when you start doing this on a day to day basis. Now, believe me when I say this, it's going to take some time to do this, but you will notice that over time you're going to start to develop a new thought process and a new habit. And you're going to start breaking your old habits and you're going to start bringing out the better version of you. But today's Monday. What you can do for your Tuesday is you can take your cell phone and if wherever you have it plugged in, usually I'm going to guess it's by the end table on your bed. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your phone, you're going to plug it in furthest away from your bed as possible. Nowhere within arm's reach. You're going to delete all of those alarms that you have set in the morning. First thing where you, you know you hit snooze, you hit snooze, you hit snooze. Just get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take only one alarm, one alarm, that's all you need. So if you wake up at 7 a.m., what you're going to be doing is you're going to set your alarm five minutes earlier than what you usually do. You're gonna set that alarm for 6.55 a.m. You're gonna put your phone as far away from your bed as possible. So when you go to sleep, you wake up in the morning, first thing you have to do is you have to get out of your bed so you can hit the snooze button. You have to turn that alarm off. After you do that, the second step you're going to be doing now, this is a great one to do and I do it every single day and it is amazing what it does. Second step that you're going to be doing is you are going to be making your bed immediately. Now I'm not saying within 10 minutes of you getting up. No, none of that immediately like ASAP, like within five seconds of you waking up and turning that alarm off, you are going to be making your bed. And the reason you're doing this is because you're starting off your day with an accomplishment immediately. So that's the second thing you want to be doing. The third thing after you do that, you are going to be creating a gratitude list. Now your gratitude list does not have to be substantial. It doesn't need to be this massive, crazy thing that you're trying to figure out. It could be as easy as I'm grateful that I woke up five minutes earlier than I usually do. It could be, I'm grateful that I woke up and I made my bed first thing in the morning. It could be as easy as I'm grateful that I have a job or I'm grateful that I have the ability to drink a coffee in the morning. Mm. That's actually a mean coffee. Um, so it could be as simple as that. You honestly don't have to go elaborate when you're creating a gratitude list. Do yourself a favor. When I first started, I started off very small, maybe doing about three to five items that were on my gratitude list. Start off small, make it easy. You don't want to be thinking too much about your gratitude list. It could be anything. I swear it could be anything. You could be grateful that you have your children in your life anything. After you're done doing your gratitude list, you're going to be doing a list of accomplishments. That's what you're doing next is a list of accomplishments, things that you want to accomplish in that day. So your list of accomplishments can be exactly like your gratitude list. It doesn't have to be substantial. It doesn't have to be this massive page. You can do three to five things. Hell, you can even do two things if you want. Start off small to make it easy, but do a list of accomplishments that you want to have done today. It could be as simple as washing my cup of coffee, coffee right after I use it. For example, something that I do on my accomplishment list every morning is I make sure that I put my laundry in my washing machine and put it on its spin cycle before I leave the house. And if it's not, if I don't have laundry to be done, but it can be done, tossed in the dryer, I'll do the same thing. I'll put it in the dryer before I leave the house. So for the most part, I do, I'll do some form of laundry in the morning or I'll take all my dirty clothes and I'll put them in the washing machine. And if it's a very small amount, you know, at least I'm doing that to make sure that it's in there already, um, prepared for when I come home at the end of the day. Do a list of accomplishments, make it easy. Also, one thing I want to say is don't, don't overthink these things. It could be as easy, like I said, as washing your cup after you're done using it. It could be putting your clothes in the laundry before you leave the house. It can be as easy as taking the garbage bag from inside the house that's full and bringing it outside, just grabbing it and just go to the door, open it, drop it, shut the door. You're good to go. The reason I tell people to do this is because within the first five to 10 minutes of your day, you have accomplished more than anyone has within the first two hours of them waking up. So you're going to actually start feeling better about yourself. You're going to start noticing you're going to have more energy. 
after you do all these things and you're going to have a very productive day in doing so. Something I do want all of you to keep in mind is with setting that timer five minutes before you usually wake up, you're probably going to notice you're going to be very tired. That's okay. After a few minutes of doing, you know, turning your cell phone off, making your bed, filling out your gratitude list, by the time you get to your list of accomplishments that you want done for the day, you'll start noticing you're going to have a lot more energy. Now also, do not look at your phone, do not turn the TV on, don't go make a cup of coffee, don't do and have any outside distractions. Within the first few minutes of your day, make sure you do all of those things and then after those tasks are done, then you can go about the rest of your day by having a shower, making your cup of coffee, you know, getting the kids ready and everything. But before any of that is even happening, don't have any outside influences coming into you because from what I've read in a few books, is that you are the most susceptible to information in the first 40, I believe now, I might be paraphrasing here, but I believe it was in the first 45 minutes of your day, you are the most susceptible to information. That essentially is gonna kind of give you the direction on how your day is gonna go. So be aware of what you're taking in first thing. So if the first thing you do in the morning is you're writing down what you're grateful for, then you're gonna feel good all day. I can promise you that. So first thing, Putting your phone as far away as possible or your alarm clock so you have to get up out of bed and turn that alarm off. Second thing, right after you do that, I don't even care if you have to go to the bathroom and you're doing the pee dance. The second thing is you're going to make your bed immediately. Third thing is you're going to start filling out that gratitude list. Now the gratitude list doesn't have to be substantial. It's just things that you are grateful for. It can be three things. It could be five things. It could be ten things. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. If you're grateful for it, it should happen naturally and you shouldn't be overthinking it. And the last thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling out that list of accomplishments. So the same thing with the gratitude list. It can be super easy accomplishments, cleaning the dishes before you go to work, putting dishes in the dishwasher, putting clothes in the laundry machine. It doesn't have to be a massive list. It could be three to five things. It can be a little bit larger, whatever you want. And what I'd also say about the list of accomplishments is put one thing on there that has to get done that day. It gives you that accountability that you have to do that. You will do that. And you're writing it down. Make sure that you write this down, all of this down. Don't just say it in your head. Write it down and then look back at it. Now, if there are things in your list of accomplishments that you don't finish, don't let that beat you up. We're all human beings. It's okay. We fall off the bandwagon once in a while. Don't let that don't let that get to you. If you can't finish something in a day and it's on your list of accomplishments, take that and push it to the next day. And obviously, if you didn't get it done, it probably wasn't a priority at the time. Now, was it? So do not beat yourself up if you don't get one of those lists. Sorry, if you don't get one of those accomplishments done. Now, what we're going to be doing is every Monday, a new video is going to be coming out with Mondays with Marcus, where I'm going to be doing a short little video to start your week off right be posting it first thing in the morning. I'm going to have these videos every week for you guys to keep me accountable and also to keep you accountable so you can start dominating every single day in your life so you can maintain that outlook on life and that positivity on life so you can keep dominating the rest of the weekend. All of this is going to come with time. Also, I'm going to leave a couple links in the description box down below. Um, if you want to contact me, different apps you can contact me on, please, by all means, if you have any questions shoot me a dm on any of the platforms that i'm on i will respond also if you don't want your name in the video just write down please please mark this as anonymous um you know and if I, i'll try my best to get some of these questions on the podcast get these questions on all of the different social media platforms and if you have any topics that you want to see discussed let me know comment below one more thing if you got anything from this video today, even if it was one little bit of information that you can implement in your life and you're willing to start implementing in your life, then take about 30 seconds. Literally, it only takes 30 seconds. Hit the like button, maybe leave a comment, subscribe, and also hit that notification button because you don't understand. The more people that do this, the quicker and faster we can get more content out, editing videos a lot quicker for you guys. And it really helps this channel grow and it really helps the community grow as a whole because my goal is to hit the masses globally and watch all of you fix your life. My name's Marcus Purdeck and thank you for joining us on this episode of Mondays with Marcus. That was a good one. That was good.